Hi everyone, I'm here today with a haul, a massive haul because I've not had a chance to get on uh, camera for a while and that is mainly because of looking after my children. Uh, my partner's been working a hell of a lot lately and due to that I have been looking after the children. So unless they sleep at the same time, which never happens, uh, I don't get any time to do videos at all. Um, because obviously I can't leave them on their own and wouldn't want to leave them on their own so haul oh, I'll start off with the boot stuff that I've got and first things first I got a fantastic deal on Effaclaw products at the moment Boots is doing two for £15 two products for £15 this product alone is 13 and this is Effaclaw M it's a SIBO regulating moisturiser which means that it uh, regulates the amount of oil on the face and soaks it up. It actually contains uh, microspheres which um, soak up the oil, which is basically, um, it's like it contains mini sponges so that when any oil comes out of the skin, these sponges soak it up and uh, fantastic stuff. Love this. Uh, it doesn't matter what my skin is like it could be more dry more oily on more on the normal side i can get away with using this and i think i'll use this forever now i just love it absolutely love it and then the other product that i bought was the Effaclaw uh, astringent lotion uh, with micro exfoliation it tightens helps so, sorry it tightens and helps unblock pores and it's paraben free this is fantastic stuff i've used this before and it is great it really does uh, clear the skin and keep it really smooth the texture of your skin is lovely when you use the Effaclaw products i've noticed um this one does contain uh, micro exfoliating properties which means that um between washing the face um and using this what will happen is so you'll use it in the morning and then all through the day you, the ingredients are constantly helping to um, eliminate oils that are clog, clogged up in the pores, it cleans out the pores, it cleans out the pores sorry and uh, gets rid of any dry skin. So any dead skin cells, anything like that are all going to be cleared from the face and it then leaves you with really really smooth skin so it's like using an exfoliator as well as an astringent to close the pores um it is very gentle on my skin but when i say it's very gentle on my skin i mean it doesn't cause any problems and i do sometimes have quite sensitive skin um it does contain alcohol though so if you're not very happy with using alcohol then definitely skip this one but for anyone like me who it doesn't bother try it and i'll almost guarantee that you'll love it i also got three model zone nail polishes i've used one and this is the color uh, purple blue beetle juice this is so beautiful it's really really shimmery and as a duochrome of purple and blue it looks a lot like on the nail not not in the uh, bottle but on the nails it looks a lot like the MUA eyeshadow in shade 12 the one that is a dupe for Max Club and the reason that I say it's more like that one than Max Club is because the MUA eyeshadow is a lot more shimmery and tends to have a almost purple cast in it when you've blended it in and yep yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous love this color and lasts a hell of a long time actually without chipping and that is really good if i can find a nail polish like that i've used that one but i've not used these two and this one's purple gray it's just a really nice um like muddy purple color like a taupe and it is a cream so it's not got any shimmer in it whatsoever there we go there's the color the lighting is absolutely crap in here today so i'm not very happy with the colors that are showing up on the screen but i needed to get a video done so i'm really really sorry this one is lilac dream it's just really pretty lilac color and then they also had um you know when you go in and you can put your boots card into the kiosk well i did that and if i bought any 17 products i'd get this blush and glow products for free and i got it in the color strawberry swirl 
I'm actually saving this for a future swap that I'm doing and to get that I bought I actually bought two products I meant only to buy one but I must have already put one into my basket but I got this one and it's a 17 eye, uh, sorry not an eyeliner a lip liner and this is in the colour phone and I bought this for a reason if you look at the colour there you're probably thinking what are you thinking Claire but I'll just show you quickly a good swatch of it and it's so creamy it goes on really really nice actually really smoothly and that is the colour there now it does have a slight pearl to it and the reason that I bought this one is to wear under colours or oh, you can just see the pearl there it's to wear under colours that I just want to lighten a little bit or give a little bit of um, a glow to like if I've got something that's a bit too matte uh, so I bought that for that reason I've already used it and it's absolutely lovely actually and then the other one I bought was the 17 mirror shine lipstick in Hollywood this is beautiful and it's a red but it's a very sheer red which I love sheer lipstick because a lot of time I do um, I don't like to wear much makeup so on them days I'll just put a little bit of mascara on uh, concealer where I need it and then something to brighten the face like Hollywood look at that it's a beautiful red with a lot of gloss to it I don't buy it for moisturising properties because I don't find that it does moisturise the lips but at the same time it doesn't dry them out so that's a bonus for me so that's Hollywood I would say it's more on the pink side of red than orange so they're my boots um, th oh no sorry that's not just my boots things I've also got this number 7 lipstick which I'm wearing right, right now and this is part of a limited edition collection sorry I had an awful moment there where I thought that I wasn't recording <laughs> which is why my face might have just dropped so this colour is beautiful this is called, I don't know if I just said the name but this is Blossoming Pink this is beautiful oh my god I'm absolutely in love with this and it smells almost exact almost exact to a MAC lipstick which is strange for number 7 because their lipsticks don't usually smell like that but this is Blossoming Pink and it's such a beautiful neutral pink and it's quite similar to Chanel's Boy. Chanel's Boy is a little bit more pink whereas this is a little bit more neutral. So I'll just give you a swatch of this. This reminds me of a luster finish from MAC. It's so beautiful. I love this lipstick. And on top of the Too Faced Perfect Lip Liner. Oh my god. Absolutely perfect. That is a Too Faced Perfect Lip Liner. And that is Blossoming Pink. Can you see the gloss? Absolutely beautiful. And this colour will suit so, so, so many people. That is the packaging. It's square, kind of Tom Ford esque, only cheaper. <laughs> it says number seven there, and then on the bottom it says Blossoming Pink. I also bought quite a few Dainty Doll products and um, you'll see just how many in a moment. First one is the Dainty Doll foundation. The, I got mine in the colour 002. Um, this is the second shade up from the lightest. The lightest is obviously 001 which is more or less white. Now this one just, just fits me now. Um, in the summer this would be way, way, way too light and uh, even in the winter this is possibly a little bit too light for me but uh, with it being right at the end of winter I am at my palest at the moment and it just about fits but my reasoning behind getting this one was so that I could add it into darker foundations to make them lighter this has a satin finish it's got a pump and I really really like it I used it once the first day that I bought it and I love it absolutely love it it's got brilliant staying power on my skin that's the colour there. Go. Can you see? It's just there. Well, it is an absolute, more or less, perfect match for my skin at the moment. Uh, it's not matte and it's not um, dewy. It is a satin. I'll show you when it dries at the end of the video. 
beautiful absolutely beautiful foundation and for us pale girls um, who find it hard to get foundations in the shade for you go and give them a try they're not cheap I think they're 22 pounds so they're certainly not cheap so it is paraben free and it does contain naturally de derived ingredients and soft focus particles for a luminous look that helps visibly reduce fine lines and wrinkles and it also provides essential SPF 15 sun protection and it's not and it's not tested on animals so they're all great attributes to the product I also got some blushes I got this one's called 002 my girl and this is a beautiful pink and these are amazingly soft velvety uh, blushes that's that colour I'm not going to swatch it onto my hand otherwise I'm really going to be here all day but it's a beautiful pink and it looks absolutely gorgeous when you've used money talks as a bronzer and then use this just on um, the apples of the cheeks and blend back a little bit and that looks absolutely amazing and then another blush in zero oh no that's not the blush it's here 001 hippie shake now a lot of people are going to look at this and think are you mad but this actually looks beautiful it really brightens the cheeks it's a lilac color and when I first looked at it I thought no I'm not gonna be able to pull that off but it looks absolutely beautiful and for those of you who've got a dark skin tone would definitely pull this off as a highlighter I've actually I've just put it on top of something else so that one is hippie shake and I love that I also got a backup of Money Talks which is um, the neutral colour, beautiful, that's my favourite of the three definitely and then I also got a concealer to match with the foundation and it's in the colour 002 Abracadabra, this is, it's not a creamy concealer if I can get into it, it just looks like that. I really like the packaging. And you get quite a lot of concealer. On the top there, it looks like it's going to be really dark, but as soon as you put your finger on it, look, as soon as you put your finger on it, it gets through to the true colour there. And it's a really long-lasting one, actually. I used it with the foundation the other day. And again, it's not matte. It's just there. It's not matte. It's not glower, it is right in the middle, it is more of a satin finish and it's got a nice mirror on it and I love it. I'm using up other products first before I get into using these um, constantly. This is an eyeshadow which is beautiful and it's called Treat Her Like A Lady in the colour 002. And that looks like that, it's a beautiful um, taupey nude but with shimmer. And it looks like that. Really pretty colour. This is the colour Are You Experience 001 and I also absolutely love this one. It's like a chocolatey reddish brown. And the beautiful feeling um, eyeshadows is so satiny, velvety smooth. It's there. That is a true chocolate colour. It looks like I've dipped my finger in some chocolate. This one's 001 Frankie Girl, and I actually think this is the eye base. Yeah, it is. That is an eye base, and it contains a lemon colour um, to neutralise the redness in the eyes. So I've not uh, put my fingers into that yet just because I've got too many eye primers that I need to use so I can't wait to give that one a try. And then the last one is called Teach Me Tiger. It's a beautiful apricot, an apricot peachy colour but it does have a golden duochrome which makes it very pretty indeed. And there it is. And then I got the concealer pen. This is in the colour 002, it's a kind of magic. So I got all the foundations, concealers and stuff in uh, the colour 002. I'm not going to pump this out just because I'm not using it yet, but the pen looks like that with the click on the end. So I'm looking forward to giving that one a try as well. I always love trying new uh, brands. I got the mascara and eyeliner duo. Give you a quick look at that. But this is in brown. And the eyeliner looks like that, just a normal eyeliner brush. And then the mascara. 
just a nice natural bris bristle brush so that'll be nice uh, if you're going out or something and you just want to take um, something compact that's going to be easier uh, to travel with then that's nice and then there was this eyeliner pencil and this is in the colour I'm So Pretty and I've actually got the golden colour from the Dainty Doll range that came in the Carmine box in November I think it was um, but this is the coffee brown, like the rich coffee brown colour and that's it there I do love brown eyeliners absolutely love 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 and then I've got the lipsticks right so I'm starting with shade 1 Couture and this is their best seller and that does not surprise me because it is absolutely stunning and that is it such a beautiful red um, kind of like a brick red oh my gosh that is amazing and the texture is beautiful I love the containers that they come in it kind of slips on and then clicks on at the end love 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 and the colour of that is there such an absolutely gorgeous colour. I, I know a few people would appreciate a colour like this. And for fair skin, I can tell that that colour is going to suit me. And I've got really fair skin. Then we've got 002 Saucy Sailor. And this is also from um, the red range. But this is definitely more um, of a brighter red. Still absolutely stunning though. This has got a lot of pink in it actually. So this one is Saucy Sailor 002 and that is there. Absolutely gorgeous. The pigmentation on these um, lipsticks, gorgeous. And the formula as well is absolutely beautiful. And this one is 003, It's My Party. This one's going to be beautiful for the summer. A gorgeous bright coral. Just love the texture of these lipsticks, they're amazing, absolutely amazing. I've just sent some Dainty Doll products out to a friend of mine in America who I've just done a swap with. Steph. Hi Steph. Hope you well love. Then we've got 004 Material World. So Material World. And this is a beautiful uh, blush type of nude in fact I don't know if it is my favourite I think this would be my most wearable colour but I don't know if it's my favourite I really like the Couture, the first one this Couture yeah. I, I like them both, I like Saucy Sailor as well but this is something that I know that I'd wear more than the other colours this is an everyday colour for me and it's there so beautiful it looks more nude in the um, lipstick, like in the um, tube, than what it does on the skin. On the skin it lo looks a lot more uh, brighter and pinker. The next colour we've got is 005 In His Kiss and it's just a nice light pearly pink. I'll put that at the end next to Couture. This is a really pretty colour. This one is more like a lustre, a matte lustre finish, and that is there. That's a gorgeous, um, more of a yellow pink. Uh, but them lipsticks are beautiful. And I think that's the whole range. I think they've just got the five colours. I love them all so much, I needed to get them all. I'm very greedy like that. <laughs> so that is the Dainty Doll products that I bought. When I said this was a big haul, I meant it. Um, yeah, I've still got quite a lot to go. Next product uh, from Zanita. These are absolutely fantastic. They, uh, it's free delivery to anybody in the UK and then free delivery international if you spend over £65, I think. Uh, not hard to spend £65 on Zanita, believe me. I got one of the Becca cream blushes, and this is in the colour Amaryllis. Love, love, love. I, I love the container, I love the packaging, it's absolutely beautiful. 
but the best thing about it is the blush which is a beautiful rose absolutely stunning and I, as far as I can remember I don't have a cream blush in a rose colour like this I've got lady blush but that is more of a corally pink but this is an amazing colour I can't wait to get using this and it just feels so expensive and beautiful look at that such a gorgeous gorgeous rose colour I'm going to put it right here at the top so you can tell that this is a colour that is really going to brighten the face especially of fair to medium skin tones such a beautiful colour absolutely stunning and you apply it and then it kind of sets I've not tried it on the cheeks yet but I did swatch it on the hand and I noticed that it went on quite glossy like that but then set to a more um, more of a satin finish I suppose so I was really chuffed to get that and especially with the free delivery on top just absolutely brilliant uh, and these are just some random stuff that I've been buying um, went to Poundland and bought a Rimmel blush in Summer Fever and I know these are still uh, for sale now in soap drug and stuff like that so the fact that I got that for a pound when it's nearly five pound I think about five pound to buy from uh, the drugstore I bought this Asto lipstick bearing in mind I couldn't see the colour when I bought it so this may go to my daughter I'm not sure yet because I think this would look really nice if it's a summer day and I've just got really fresh um, skin with a tiny bit of bronzer bit of mascara and then this on the lips it's just it's more like a balm than anything else it's called shine deluxe and I'll put you the colour here it looks a lot more offensive than what it is it's a really more of a fresh pink when you've got it on um, the skin so it's there just on the thumb there you can see it so actually quite surprised by that I think that's quite a, quite a pretty colour and the reason that I went into Poundland was for a Sally Hansen um, lash and brow comb so you get the spoolie on one end and then you get the comb and brush on the other We have a Stila convertible, ooh, wrong way around, convertible colour dual lip and cheek cream. This is in the colour Orchid, and that is what it looks like in the pan. Kind of a berry red. That's what it looks like on the finger, and then that's what it looks like on the skin. So as you can see, it's kind of a berry colour. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Uh, not actually used it yet but it looks absolutely stunning this I'm really excited to use and it's a Nails Ink Special Effects Holographic Glitter Top Coat and yeah should really take it out of the container there we go this again is similar to uh, the Leighton Denny in that it's not big chunks of glitter and it's more like a dust can you see <laughs> just how glittery that is it's, n it's not chunks of glitter at all, it is very, very, very fine, like almost a dust kind of shimmer, but it is very holographic and gorgeous. Can't wait to use that as a top coat, I think that's going to look beautiful. And I bought this blush, this is a fashionista blush and it's called Flush. Is it? Yeah, shade 7 flush and you can take these out and these are really smooth and pigmented. There's the colour, a really pretty pink. I'm running out of places to swatch. This is what I get for not being able to do a video for a while, but it's there. So it's a beautiful flush of pink with a touch of peach in it. Really like that. I think it was about... £3.54 because it was on sale on the site. Thank you so much for watching. That is my haul over and done with. If you request any uh, more information on any of the products, let me know. Uh, I'll list everything in the below bar. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.